Welcome to the Academy of Science, St. Louis Science Fair, inquiry-based learning at its best. We will have close to 2,000 projects coming to Queenie Park, competing for blue ribbons, red, green, and white. We have close to $60,000 in scholarships that will be given out to the students. Representatives from those organizations, Monsanto, Sun Edison, some of the societies around town that are science-based, for example, the Chemical Society, will come out and judge projects and give individual scholarships to the students to start their college fund. It is so important for students to think college at a very young age and we're able to do that through these scholarships that are offered all the way from kindergarten through 12. The process of science itself is, can be so intricate. And for my students to begin learning this in third grade, fourth grade, fifth grade, at such an early age is really awesome. The more students do, the more they, they learn. So they're learning content, not just process, but they're also learning the content. And when we give students ownership over what they learn, that just makes it even better. It's something that they choose to do. It's something that they want to do. So hands on. Mine's on. I love it. Absolutely love it. Well, with STEM education being so important in like the 5E model, I mean, teachers are teaching, or they should be, you know, inquiry-based learning every day. And so it's just taking that and, you know, putting it into something that I guess is official through a board or, you know, online with our, our PowerPoints. And a lot of teachers stopped me today throughout the week, and probably Karen too, and said, what do you think? What can we do? And I actually did say, you already are doing it. You just you just don't think that you are, but you really are if you think about what you teach every day. And just think about inquiry and what you can do to make it official to send something to us. My name is Tori Gowan, and the um, whole title of my project is Tyrosine Decarboxylase in Camelina. In a nutshell, we were trying to um, see if we put the tyrosine decarboxylase gene in the Camelina plant, that it would produce, hopefully, more tyramine. Tyramine is a key product in creating galanthamine, and galanthamine is a possible cure for um, Alzheimer's disease. Yes, this is my third year doing the science fair and I really enjoy it. I've been in the honors division all three years and all of my projects have dealt with disabilities in some way, shape or form. Last year I got to go to the Intel International Science and Engineering Fair which was in Phoenix and that was a really amazing experience. I got to present my work to a lot of judges and met kids from all over the world who are really interested in science and I've definitely kept in touch with some since. Sun Edison employs a lot of uh, techni technically educated people and sometimes they're hard to find. Um, so we're big supporters of STEM education and it's really important to start early because science is not an easy topic and you need to have a passion for it. So if we can reach out to younger kids, encourage them to participate in scientific projects such as these, um, I think that uh, that gives us an opportunity to encourage them at this early age and maybe, just maybe, some percentage of them will go on to higher education in science and engineering and mathematics and uh, in the end that gives us a, a big pool of people to, to choose from and um, that's helpful to us as a technical company. Every single year we come up, the kids will come back with tons of scholarship and recognition and it's all because of Senator is just so strong. Most of the employees uh, at Monsanto have a strong interest in being mentors for the students. And so we, we do get a lot of volunteers from Monsanto helping to judge and, and evaluate these projects uh, simply because they know that, that their input is going to be important in helping the future generations. 
Monsanto and Sun Edison have become the sponsors of the science fair because they really believe in the future of the next generation of scientists and engineers in the St. Louis area. So every child who comes here, and it's more than 2,000 projects, every child who comes here to this fair has first been in a fair at their own school. More than 200 schools in the area participate. And they've probably been through a fair through their district or their individual school before they come here. So actually, we estimate about 55,000 projects are done every year by students in the St. Louis area. And the top 3% end up right here at the Academy of Science, St. Louis Science Fair. If you go to our website at academyofsciencestl.org, you can find out about the many, many programs that we offer for students, for adults, to the general population throughout the year. Almost all of them totally free. Thanks so much.